What is going on guys? Welcome back to the channel Critical Overlord here. So we're talking about Halloween ends in this video here again today. So we got a new image from the movie yesterday. Had some rumblings about a soundtrack snippet or a track itself that I guess had surfaced online. Yes, I have heard it. I don't think it's officially been released. Someone is claiming it's supposed to be released officially today. So we'll see what happens there. Um, and then David Gordon Green had some comments about the ending of the movie and how it seems like that ending is still left up in the air. So... Just to jump into it, we have this new image of, again, what appears to be Michael Myers in Halloween Ends, courtesy of Empire Magazine, with a few, again, new words from David Gordon Green along with it in a small interview. So this image, I don't think is Michael Myers. I'm just going to jump right on into it. I don't think that's Michael Myers. And that's my theory to prove it otherwise. So for everyone asking who is Corey, because I know people are still asking that. Corey is again the person that was first mentioned in July when the teaser dropped in the in the plot details when it was referencing an individual who was going to stand accused of killing someone after a babysitting incident and it was also then revealed that he was being portrayed by Rohan Campbell evidence of this was supported by the teaser that was released and in the teaser you see him at one point getting snatched up by Michael Myers and then in another point in the teaser you see Michael Myers with um some some things along with him and as far as his his appearance that don't really line up with how Michael Myers should be looking if that is indeed supposed to be Michael Myers uh, although it could be a continuity mistake it seems like there's enough evidence Evidence in that trailer alone to suggest that Corey Cunningham is going to be the copycat killer in Halloween Ends. Again, he's seen getting snatched up in the teasers, and it's just been assumed based off of some other factors that he becomes a Michael Myers copycat. Now, the woman in the image might be someone close to Corey, and he just kills her due to other negative treatment towards him for whatever reason, like he's probably going to do to everyone else. And if it is Michael, then it's just Michael. But the only convincing thing in this appearance so far of that how this might be michael is the hand uh because maybe that's not Corey cunningham just going off of the hand but again i don't know who this woman is I, the only person this woman might be is some random bystander or this might be again someone because it's in a house it might be someone connected to Corey. if Corey becomes a copycat killer maybe this is another individual who he might feel has wronged him and now where are people getting the the feeling of thinking people might have wronged him that's again going off of the plot synopsis standing accused of doing something you probably didn't commit people do nothing but bash you around Haddonfield you feel some type of way about it you end up coming across Michael Myers you end up being inspired by Michael Myers you go back to town after stealing his mask and you kill all these people that have wronged you these are things that people are again going off of from that synopsis that came out or plot detail log line that came out and also the evidence that supports it in their head <laughs> from the teaser trailer so we'll see what ends up happening because the execution is the most important going going into halloween ends so we'll see how it all goes down david gordon green also told empire that the ending isn't decided on yet he said it changes every day he said in theory the picture is locked but this morning i called the editor and i said what if we do this one thing there is after all pressure to get it right he then went on to say he speaks with john carpenter and jamie lee curtis regularly about it uh he also said it's 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 exciting it's exciting uncertain satisfying and sad i've enjoyed the ride but it's probably time to get off i think we're gonna go out with a bang yeah i'm sure you will go out with a bang it's just not really certain how the fans and the general public are gonna, are gonna react to said bang <laughs> uh I his comments there about the ending and, you know, not being decided on. I don't think that's really too much cause for concern. I just haven't recently seen any filmmakers openly admit to that. So I guess I can respect that in a lot of ways because there are movies. I think Nope is the most recent one I can think of, even though I don't think Jordan Peele actually ever addressed it. Where final touches and, you know, stuff about what you actually want to do before your film is supposed to be debuting. Final last minute changes and tweaks they're not they're not new as long as it's stuff that's been recorded none of this is new so and it also is i guess a confirmation that we have multiple endings to work with but what do those multiple endings look like do they look like endings where michael and Lori die together do they look like endings where michael kills Lori or endings where Lori kills michael maybe something that happens with at the radio tower because i don't even know how impactful the radio tower is anymore i haven't really heard too much rumblings about it haven't seen anything about it in the in the first teaser we got maybe we'll see something about it in the new teaser or the new trailer that many people are expecting to come out so We'll see what ending they decide to go with and what other endings they had in mind because, of course, we're only going to get one or maybe multiple going off of that announcement video that Jamie Lee Curtis had where she seems to have suggested there might be a very good, logical, sound reason you might want to go see the movie twice 
either at home once, watching it on Peacock once, and then switching it up again. But jumping into the soundtrack, so there is a soundtrack or a snippet of the soundtrack that was released. I didn't see any title attached to this track that I heard. And again, I don't think it's been officially released. I just listened to it real briefly. This is again from John Carpenter and his son. Sounds beautiful, just like what they've done with the previous two entries. John Carpenter and his work on the score. That's something that I can always say has been a high point of this new trilogy. At the end of the day, if I had to give this trilogy anything over the others, it might be the score. It might be the score. It would have to still go the original movie. And then I might put the put the scores of this new trilogy from David Warren Green right behind that first movie from 78 in terms of the quality of the scores in the Halloween movies. The scores have just been amazing. And this one here, the what I heard from it sounded amazing as well. Can't wait to hear the rest of it. And we'll see again because today is September 1st. So we'll see if anything comes out today as far as like being able to pre-order it or if the track itself is officially released. So that's all that there was as it pertains to Halloween ends for this update. Uh, I hope that this ending that we have is not something that is overly divisive because I know Jamie Lee Curtis, she's already said that some people might be PO'd about it. Some people might be PO'd about something more than the ending. They might be PO'd that again, the argument that I have right now is that there's so much material that you have for Lori Strode to carry this movie, yet she's not doing it. Why? Why is she not carrying the movie? I know she's working on a memoir and maybe that's boring to some people. But at the end of the day, you've given her material to work with. You already let her see her struggle in 2018 with her trauma. Why not see her liberation and her work towards being freed from all of it? Why do we have to have it carried by Corey Cunningham? <laughs> it just seems that Corey Cunningham is going to be the one with the most screen time. And again, he's being given the most compelling stuff so far. Going off of what I've read, I get that. Um, and just how it seems that his character is going to be. But at the end of the day, you have all this material for Lori too. So it's a little bit disappointing. But let me know what you guys think about all this down in the comment section below. If you haven't already, of course, make sure you subscribe. Turn on post notifications and this video in the description. I'll have links on social media accounts, on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. You can message me there, of course, to let me know any movies, news, or reviews you'd like me to cover in the future. And with all that in mind, guys, I will see you in the next video.